all air link is scheduled to service as many times in the very near future. Here with me, I'm going to give a quarter of the hash to let her link us up, post to the going to make a meter board, Galoo Arishiv, Sloan, Agus, Banach, Lev, Galeer. Thank you all once again and have a safe for onwards journey. The yarn festival is going to be... We've arrived in Edinburgh. Oh, I love Edinburgh so much! Um, behind me is the Greyfriars Kirkyard, which is an old graveyard, and up this street here is um, Bobby. And if you are coming to Edinburgh, you have to find Bobby and give his nose a little boop for good luck. It's really shiny from all the boops. The story is that when his owner died, he was put into the Kirkyard just there. He was interred and his little doggy came and visited him every day so they loved him so much they made him a citizen of Edinburgh and I think he was mayor at one point I don't know then they put up a statue so cute so we're just waiting for our Airbnb person we're right in the center of town down this way is the grass market and up there is the castle where is the castle can you see it it's over there anyway okay here there is our flat beautiful Airbnb run by the most wonderful people we just met they're so sweet so it's a door here coming up and in. directly from the street oh my god it's so big I can't get over how big it is I'm used to Airbnbs being a lot smaller this is directly in the city center They've got loads of like food in here. <coughs> James for scale. <laughs> nice little bedroom. Oh, it's so cute. Little bathroom. It's not little really. I mean, geez. I lived in something smaller than this in Edinburgh. And then this part here. It's their like little cool section where all the people that have stayed here have left sent them little messages. It's so cool. And there's a bit. Where is it? It's in there. It's, it's in there. It's the old spiral. It's the old spiral staircase that used to feed the whole ha the whole building. It's free. So hopefully, um, we might have some people over for tea. Some knitters, James, okay. or Lucia, my friend Lucia, could come over. Yes, because it's the size of it. It's the cutest. And the people who own it are lovely as well. I'm totally going to give them an amazing recommendation. So, I book it for next year already. <laughs> Although there's that other place that we stayed in before. It was really good as well. There's so many places. Anyway, so first day in Edinburgh, we're going to be pretty chill. We're going to get something Ooh. to eat. Okay. We're gonna get some deed. Bye. We are out and about. We've had a nap and now we are walking to um, the new town. We are currently in Old Town because it all looks super old. And this is the grass market region. So this used to be where the cattle march used to be. Uh, it's grass markets. It used to be covered in grass because they used to auction off animals. Why am I speaking so loudly? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was for well, the other direction. This also used to be a place of public execution. There was a pub down there called The Last Drop, <laughs> where apparently they used to get their last bit of uh, bit of the good stuff. Oh, hey, look, I used to work in this shop. The Mutt's Nuts. <laughs> oh my God, they've got cool things. Oh, damn, damn them. I used to spend most of my money in there just... What? Hey, cool. Oh gosh, this is where it starts. Oh, look at all this. What is it? What is it? They've got swords. Oh, we have to go in now. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? We saw some swords. You know, stuff yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> what can you do? do? We can't. <gasps> Helmets. Hey, James, you're tall enough to be a mountain. One of them. 
see those sorts of things. Because again, those sorts of things are mixed in the world. Disgusting. Oh, oh Strider. For anyone curious, that was the Knight's Vault on the grass market. The grass market looks like this, coming down from George IV, George VI Bridge. And we're going up Victoria Street now. Is that right? West Bow. We're going up the West Bow, sorry. West Bow. So, James, so is it going to be your yarn? Yeah. I think. I'm going to set so. up an armory. Start making my own swords as well. Making your own swords. You know, like nice. how you, forge. Yeah, you yeah I like yarn. that. Actually, I have a few jobs for you if you do take up metal work. And could you take up woodwork as well? I, I need someone to do that. Okay. Cool, thanks. Oh, I love those tweeds. Look at that jacket. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I love them as well. Now, so, if you go up the hill, you'll get to the castle. Down the street, knock into that woman. Cross, 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 cross. We go to St. Giles Cathedral. St. Giles Cathedral is just up here, beautiful glass stained windows, etc. I think I am doing the exact same tour I did in 2017 <laughs> for 2018. This time we have been the for making a free roll. Oh, yes. Well, we are going to see the hangman's heart. Spit on it. Yes, one must because it's a sign of all those people that got hung, whether they did or not, I'd say. <laughs> not a great justice memory. system. <laughs> Spit it on their memory. It's classic. It's just up here. This is the site of the old gallows. There's a spittoon there. I won't do it because it's kind of gross. I'm going down the Royal Mile. So the Royal Mile is called so because it is a mile between the castle and the palace. The castle is on top because it's a fortified location and then the palace is down the bottom and it's Hollyrood Palace where the Queen comes to stay. So normally it's the Duke of Edinburgh. Her concert. Is that right? I don't know. Isn't that, isn't that the technical term? Oh, it's floating Yoda. Hello you floating Yoda. So the Royal Mile is effectively, they call it the whale's back sometimes because it's actually a mound that has like ribs almost coming off it and they're the closest, the little alleyways. And one of them is Mary King's Close, the real Mary King's Close. So what happened was during plague they actually kind of covered it over to make way for the new courthouse. And they kind of kept, they kind of just put all the, put all the sick people in, just kind of left them there. It's a really good tour, all about the history of kind of the tenements, the, the poor areas of Edinburgh um, in, I don't know exactly the times, but whenever the plague was, a long time ago. Fascinating, you can go right down into the street, you can go into the houses, house to house, and talk a lot about like the, hist the medicine that was in that time, which wasn't very effective. Um, yeah, really, really good tour. If anyone is looking to do some sort of history, kind of fun, ghosty tour, it's really good. Really good. A little bit scary though. They say there's ghosts. <laughs> scary. But it's not really. They're brave. <laughs> what the old places look like. I like to hear doors on this, but they little streets all the way down. They're, quite, they're covered quite a lot because, you know, real estate is precious. <laughs> Flesh market close, one might imagine what has happened down there. There's lots of babies produced down there. <laughs> now, so we will go across North Bridge. You've got lots of money. You stay here or there. That's the Balmoral, and that's the Scotsman. And in the middle used to be a huge lake. Uh, the lake was drained and um, Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, James. My director, producer, everything. And uh, in the middle is been placed. This is where Waverley Station is. So Waverley Station is right in the centre of the city. Um, it's quite. It's uh, the trains are actually quite low down, and uh, there's beautiful gardens either side of the train station. On this side here by Scots Monument, and then on the other side, these two buildings are the galleries. It's called the Mound because it was actually where they moved the earth when they were building the station. 
So they've put two beautiful galleries there. The first one there is the public gallery and I think this one's a private gallery you have to pay to get into, but the other, this one is free, so that's cool. And you can see the castle up there. I'll get a good view of it pretty much everywhere in the city. It's like amazing. We've walked across the city into new town. So as you can see, the streets are a lot wider. The buildings are relatively new. I mean, they're still pretty old. Still, these, these buildings are more Georgian. Um, and we've come to Henderson's Vegan, which is an interesting restaurant, which I found out about on Happy Cow. So that's exciting. I'm meeting a friend here. And we're probably going for a drink actually first because we're a bit early. <laughs> so this is vegan haggis. It is delicious. So no part of this is meat, by the way. If anyone is curious and weird, haggis is just kind of like curvy, oji, protein goodness. And it's delicious. Butta bowl. Butta bowl. Butta bowl. Teriyaki, something or other. Yeah. And I'm going to wrap it in mushrooms because I need more vegetables. Thanks, <laughs> Sadra.